People fond of tourism choose their destinations based on their preferences. Those interested in history like to visit historical sites, whereas those who want to enjoy the culture and natural beauty have quite a list of destinations to visit. From historic treasures to stunning natural scenery, here are the most wonderful places in the world. You should definitely put these on your bucket list. The Faroe Islands This far-flung archipelago consists of municipalities of 18 volcanic islands of the Scandinavian landscape. It has lawn-lined houses, rocky shorelines, and lush waterfalls. Here you'll experience long days with eternal daylight, whereas summer is mild and windswept. The Faroe Islands take you to the roots of Nordic happiness. The place is paradise for hikers and bird watchers who enjoy their leisurely days taking in the natural beauty of mountains, valleys, grassly heathland, and steep coastal cliffs that harbour thousands of seabirds. Ojos de Mar, Bolivia the salty plains of Ojos de Mar have six turquoise waterholes. These are located in the Tola Grande Palace in Bolivia and are inhabited by stromatolite deposits shaped with the help of algae and microorganisms. The water changes its shades from brilliant blue to seafoam green depending on the intensity of sunlight. Scientists have a significant interest in these waterholes due to stromatolites that are believed to be some of the oldest signs of life on Earth and to have helped in giving rise to oxygen in our atmosphere. The salt surrounding water reservoirs creates a magical crystalline mirror that attracts people from all around the world. Mount Cook, New Zealand Mount Cook National Park is part of the South Island's Taiwanapamu World Heritage Site. It's home to New Zealand's highest mountains. Glaciers occupy more than 40% of its territory. The Tasman Glacier is the longest among these. Sir Edmund Hillary made arrangements for the first ascent of Everest. Due to the availability of several trails, irrespective of skill level, the place is most suitable for adventurers and hikers. The Mount Cook Village hosts around 250,000 visitors every year. Emerald Lake, British Columbia, Canada The Emerald Lake is one of the most attractive destinations in the Canadian mountains. It's located in the British Columbia Yoho National Park and is a popular destination during winter for snowshoeing, cross-country skiing and backcountry skiing. During summer, it presents a stunning sight most suitable for canoeing and fast swimming in crystal-clear glacial waters. It's been given the name Emerald Lake for its jade-colored waters. Legendary guide Tom Wilson was mesmerized when he came here for the first time in 1882. Ratigali National Park, Pakistan Ratigali National Park lies on the disputed border between India and Pakistan. It boasts stunning topographic features and magnificent scenic views. Due to its captivating natural beauty, the area has always been a hub for tourists. It has spectacular sights, including natural lakes with crystal clear waters and immense vastness of meadows with a variety of wild flowers. It is a most attractive destination for any nature lover. The Ratigali Alpine Glacial Lake, fed by the surrounding glacier, is very popular as a tourist destination, especially during the summers. Jodhpur, India The magical blue walled city of Jodhpur is a tangle of winding medieval streets. This 15th century Marangar fort is presently being mainly used as a museum and dominates the old town and network of box buildings, shops and markets. It's mostly famous for its blue buildings that were colored to avoid insects and also to keep buildings cool during the intense heat of summer. The ancient city can be accessed through its eight magnificent gates as the city is encircled by an imposing wall. Shark Bay, Australia the westernmost point on mainland Australia houses this UNESCO World Heritage Site, which was founded well before the discovery of Australia by Captain Cook at Botany Bay, along with Dutch explorers landing in the 17th century. This diverse area comprises tiny white shells, stromatolites on the Humaline Pool shore, and disused salt mines loop. Some of the purest grade salts in the world are produced here. It is the most suitable place for a road trip for tourists while traveling north along the west coast from Perth. Paracas, Peru Paracas is located near the tiny town of Ica region of Peru. Here, desert meets the sea. While planning a vacation in this area, one must not forget the boat ride to iconic Isla Balestas. Rocky islands of the Pacific coast are known for their diverse wildlife, which includes flocks of sea lions and baby penguins. The area presents a beautiful view of birds and marine life coexisting. Here, traveling in the desert affords a unique experience. You can also plan visits to the National Reserve and manage plenty of time to relax in the bay. Algarve, Portugal The southwestern region of Portugal has a red cliff coastline and is dotted by pristine whitewashed Moorish villages. 
It has begun to attract crowds from the region's busier areas as it has a sunny microclimate and affordable places to stay like Casamay and Lagos. It's also a good option for sunny winter. In Algarve, tourists of every category can find something of interest including golfing, nightlife, local foods and rich history. So far, it is Europe's best-kept secret for tourists. Saracanico Beach, Milos, Greece Milos is off the radar, but it has some of the best beaches in the Aegean Sea which have not yet witnessed a buzz of tourists from Santorini or Mykonos. Saracanico Beach comprises mounts of undulating bone-white wave-like volcanic rock and presents a stunning bay which makes it the most attractive beach in Greece. White rock formations against the rich blue waters provide the most stunning view for relaxing as well as for exploring an adventure. Death Valley, California Death Valley in California is known to be the hottest place on Earth as it reaches record high temperatures every year. This vast area has contrasting extremes of snowy peaks, scorching sands and wildflower meadows. The National Park covers a variety of landscapes including the most popular spot to the multi-hued artist's palette which is actually a series of eroded hills owing their colouring to the mountain's oxidation of natural metal deposits. The International Dark Sky Association has recognised the park as a prime spot for stargazing. The rugged beauty of the park keeps attracting people to the desert. Mor Sirindram, India Mor Sirindram Hill Station is famous for being the wettest place in India and is among one of the most popular tourist spots in the country. Neighbouring Bangladesh has no mountains. As a normal practice, rain-bearing clouds deposit most of their moisture and rain in the hills. The region receives an average annual rainfall of about 12 metres that has resulted in incredible flora and fauna. If you plan to visit the region, you shouldn't miss out on Sampun Sira, most famous for the huge stalagmite formations which resemble the shape of shivling, and the site attracts a large number of visitors every year. Provence, France in Provence, France, during summer, you can observe large stretches of fields of blooming lavender and its landscape has turned purple. After harvesting a fragrance crop, it's used in honey, soaps and pastries. The region is known for its lavish scenery, light, colour and immensely gifted artists. The city of Avignon and the wide variety of villages that can easily be explored are the major attractions. Bayonne, Cambodia Bayon was built in the 12th century in honour of Cambodia's most famous King Javel Varman VII. It is a state temple with a peculiar architect and is located in the heart of Angkor Thom. Its discovery helped in a better understanding of the Khmer Empire's beliefs, values and power. Angkor Thom means great city and signifies its connection with heaven and earth. There are 54 Gothic towers carved with 216 massive smiling faces of Avakolas Navara. The design of the temple and other features show the transformation from Hinduism to Mayan Buddhism. It's located off the beaten track. Grand Teton National Park, Jackson Hole, Wyoming Three prominent peaks of the 90-year-old National Park are considered to be among Wyoming's most recognizable features. The park has hiking trails, clear alpine lakes of varying sizes and altitudes, adventurous climbing routes and unprecedented western wildlife. The Grand Teton is the highest point of the range and a place where numerous adventurers attempt to go. The park is most suitable for mountain biking, the 310,000-acre landscape and winding river. Angel Falls, Venezuela Angel Falls, located in the UNESCO-protected Canemia National Park in Venezuela, is the highest waterfall in the world with 3,212-foot cascades. It is an amazing sight and is only accessible by boat or plane. Tourism is the main source of income for the residents in the surrounding areas of Angel Falls as several locals get opportunities to take up jobs such as guides, campground officials and boat rowing. It is the highest uninterrupted waterfall in the world. It is three times as tall as the Eiffel Tower. During the warmer dry season, water evaporates before touching the ground. Resultantly, a mist is formed instead of a usual plume. Grand Canal, Venice Grand Canal is 12,500 feet long and runs through the centre. It has inspired several artists such as Canaletto Monet and J.M.W. Turner. Both sides of the channel are flanked by buildings belong to the 17th and 12th centuries. It is the grandest waterway and best known as the best way to appreciate the water-facing facades of the most ornate palaces of Venice. The Grand Canal follows a natural channel tracing a reverse S-course from San Marcos to Santa Caria Church and divides the city into separate halves. Huangare National Park, Zimbabwe 
Hwangir National Park is the largest natural reserve in Zimbabwe and has more varieties of mammals than any other national park all over the world. The area of the park is almost equal to the size of Belgium. There are more than 50,000 elephants and more than 500 species of birds in the park. Wet months in the winter season provide the best opportunity to see migratory birds here. The off-season safari ride is also an enjoyable experience. So far, Hwangir National Park is not that crowded with tourists. Lake Eyre, Australia Lake Eyre is a salt lake that forms the lowest point in the Australian continent. Its extreme level of salinity provides it with a vibrant pink colour but makes it unsuitable for swimming. Most of its area remains dry due to evaporation and fully fills only twice in a century on average. Crystallised salt surface stretches as far as one can see which presents an incredible view. Thousands of descending birds and convergence of fish in channels when it floods also present a mesmerizing scene. Bali, Indonesia Bali is one of the 17,000 islands of Indonesia. The place is mind-blowing with its vivid green paddies, vast jungles and lush forests. The temperature in Bali hovers around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, making the environment pleasant throughout the year. You can explore the landscape by bike and then enjoy life in several magnificent beach clubs. Besides amazing beach views and spectacular temples, Bali possesses all kinds of natural beauty including glorious mountainous areas having lush greenery, beautiful lakes, gorgeous waterfalls, flower gardens, gushing sacred rivers, impressive rice paddies and mysterious canyons. Seven Sisters Country Park, East Sussex, UK The UK's east has the country's most amazing trails and seaside parks. The Seven Sisters Park has an area of 280 hectares comprising chalk cliffs, a winding river valley and flat-top grasslands. It also provides an unmatched view of the English Channel. In the past, it has been a famous landmark connecting Tottenham to Camden Town. Back in 1872, it was provided with a train station and in 1968 with a tube stop. Its gorgeous meadows and mesmerizing cliffs make it a desired destination to visit. Jaipur and the Hawa Mahal Palace Jaipur is the largest in the Indian state of Rajasthan. It is full of bustling markets and sacred lakes as well as golden royal palaces. The stunning structure constructed from sandstones has approximately 953 small exterior windows decorated with complex latticework that looks like lace. Keeping in view its unprecedented cooling system that ensures the passage of breezes through the inner rooms during the scorching heat of summer months, it's known as the Hawa Mahal or the Palace of Winds. The pink city has rosy buildings and a honeycomb-like Hawa Mahal is the most recognizable feature of all. Panjin Red Beach, China Panjin region is home to 260 bird species and is well known for its rice fields and bamboo shoots. It is yet an undiscovered tourism treasure, especially for those interested to explore wildlife. This natural reserve boasts more than 399 kinds of wild animals and 260 varieties of birds. You can observe endangered crown cranes and black beak gulls here. These earned it the renowned name Home of the Cranes. Amazing Red Beach gets its unprecedented red appearance due to seaweed which flourishes in salty alkaline soil. It soaks from the surrounding salt water and turns the sand into bright crimson color. Marrakesh, Morocco The kaleidoscope city of Marrakesh is well known for its buzzing market life, spice selling and ancient medinas. However, the stunning shops and contemporary art makes it a modern city. It has many places to visit such as Yevet St. Lawrence, restoration of Cobalt Blue Jardin in Marjorie, and Smoke Street food stalls in Jima El Finin. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and has an incredible blend of Berber, Arabic and French influences. You can find a beautiful frenzy in the Medina, ornate Arabic architecture and the most amazing cuisines. Before moving to number one on this list, take a look at the mesmerizing Dodup Fort in India. Tourists visit the fort because of the daring adventure that it can offer, along with the gorgeous natural beauty and ancient and attractive caves. It is the second highest fort after Salha Fort and third highest peak after Kalsubai Peak and Salha. Dodup Fort should be on every explorer's map because of the variety of things it offers. Caves at the top where one can camp, three temples of Lord Hanuman, Lord Ganesh and Lord Shiva, water tanks, ruins of settlements and the museum at the base village of Hattie. Paris, France Paris possesses striking architecture, magnificent boulevards, world-renowned art jewel box pastries and classic places. The city probably never sleeps, 
You can enjoy your evenings at corner bistros and beautiful streets and explore stunning sights. The city has been the source of inspiration for several artists, writers and filmmakers. It has earned a romantic reputation and is famous as the City of Lights. No wonder the infamous Eiffel Tower is on almost every single person's bucket list. We hope you enjoyed the video. Tell us in the comment section which place you found the most fascinating. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.